Budapest is a contrasting destination that has a lot to offer visitors. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and today we share the 10 best things to do in Budapest. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly we have Buda Castle. Buda Castle was where the Hungarian kings once lived. It was built in the 13th century and is situated on top of the castle hill. From the terrace of the castle you can get sweeping views of the chain bridge and the Hungarian parliament. The castle is a must visit for everyone to the city especially if you are a history or art lover. It is home to the Castle History Museum and the National Gallery of Hungary. Next we have the Chain Bridge. The Chain Bridge is 1,250 feet long and it's a favourite place for walking, biking and riding. It is an iconic bridge in the city which is a great place for photography and is usually flocked by tourists. The bridge is especially beautiful at night when it is lit up and it lights up the surrounding area. Next we have the Hungarian Parliament Building. A visit to Budapest wouldn't be complete without a visit here, where the Hungarian Assembly still meets and this building played an important role in the revolution of Budapest. Appreciate the architecture, the paintings and the statues, as well as the views of the river. If you wish to take an inside tour of the Parliament Building, it is recommended to book tickets in advance, as they fill up pretty fast. Next we have thermal baths. With Hungary having around 1000 hot springs running beneath it, treating yourself to a thermal bath is one of the best experiences here. Besides being a comfortable and relaxing experience, they also have healing properties which are believed to heal ailments. Budapest is called the city of spas, being a home to some of the best thermal baths in the world. So make sure you check out at least one of them. Next, you need to check out St. Stephen's. St. Stephen's is one of the holiest places in Hungary and the largest church in Budapest. You will also want to experience some amazing views of Budapest. So apart from St. Stephen's, you could also head to Fisherman's Bastion. This is a neo-Gothic style monument built on the hills of Buda Castle. It was built in the early 20th century, marking the thousandth birthday of Hungary and is one of the most popular places to visit in Budapest. It has a large viewing terrace, which gives you some of the best panoramic views of the city. Next we have a very popular place in Budapest, Hero Square. See the iconic monuments in the square before visiting the art galleries nearby. You could also choose to cycle the streets of Budapest. You can see more people going around the city on two wheels rather than cars or public transport, especially in the summer months. Biking has gained popularity over the past couple of years thanks to its established cycling infrastructure. There are plenty of options for bike rentals in the city, but the best way to sightsee Budapest is to rent a bike and get exploring. The next thing to do in Budapest is visit Margaret Island. Sitting in the middle of the river, Margaret Island is a 2.5 kilometer long island that is perfect for a stroll in the spring and summer months. There is plenty of parkland and recreational facilities here, as well as pedal carts and golf carts for rent. Visit the dancing music fountains, check out the medieval ruins and unwind in this scenic spot. And lastly, a trip to Budapest wouldn't be complete without a visit to at least one ruined pub. These unique pubs can be found in deserted buildings and are quirky, comfortable places to have some local drinks. There are plenty of ruined pubs all over Budapest and you can even take a tour going to various spots. Watch this video to find out the things to know before you go to Hungary. Then, to find out more romantic destinations in Europe, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time in Budapest and stay creative.